All right, we're going to watch Kate's butterfly at full speed underwater real quick. Um, along with the email, along with the video, you'll receive some notes from Lynette as well. Please make sure to have Kate check those out so she kind of is able to see what we're seeing on the video as well as getting some uh, cues from Lynette as well. Um, so the biggest thing we see real quick is her kick. As we're watching her butterfly, as we're watching her butterfly go, and we're going to slow it down here, we kind of see as we get to the first pull, there's a kick, and there's pretty much one kick per pull. Okay, what's important in butterfly is make sure that you have good two kicks. So you have a two B kick, so you should kick once there, and the second kick should be right there. Okay, as we can see, she's really just doing that one kick. So it's one kick there. We should have a kick and then another kick right away. So make sure we get two good kicks with each pull. All right, so that's the first thing that we saw that we really want to make sure we try and get a little bit better. Um, as we enter, we can kind of see that those thumbs are a little bit still down, those pinkies are a little bit up. Make sure as you start to enter, your hands start to catch that water a little bit better, so you want to start to flatten those palms out as you start to get that pull in. Okay, as we get that breath here, the one thing we want to try and work on as we can see that our hands are pulling back really well, we can kind of see that they're a little wide too. You want to try to get your thumb and your your thumb and your pointer fingers almost touching. So from like your chest all the way down to your belly button, they should almost be touching. And then as you finish that stroke at the bottom of your at the bottom of your hips, your palms should be up. And as we can kind of see here, okay. Palms are pushing right back, and that's really good. But then right here at the last second, now all of a sudden we've got our thumbs down and our pinkies up. So we've not really finished that pull. We kind of shortened that pull a little bit. We're already working on getting our arms around. So make sure you finish with that stroke. Palms up. Okay, you can still see how your fingertips are down at this point. All right, so you make sure those palms are up. Now, our head's coming down from that breath really, really well. You're loading up on that chest down, that head down, and those hands start to enter, okay? You can see that they're a little bit wide right here and here. Try to get them about shoulder width apart, okay? Good job of getting a good strong pull. I mean, your, your feel underwater is really good. This is perfect. If you keep your hands in this position all the way through from the very end, it would be unbelievable, okay? That would be just a little bitty twit, a little bitty tweak that you could do that all of a sudden makes your butterfly a little bit stronger, okay? Good job of not breathing every stroke. Good job of keeping your head down. Good job of snapping those legs. I mean, you've got a good, strong kick. We'd like to see it a little bit higher in the water. You can kind of tell right here. As you do your kick, your feet never really break the surface. Okay, you want to get a little bit of a break of that surface. You want to make sure that that kick is just a little bit stronger. Okay, you don't want to have them always underwater. It should just be breaking that surface just a little bit. As we go into that turn, looks like you took a breath here. On that last stroke into the wall, you kind of see how your head's above the water. <coughs> Make sure you don't take that last stroke into the wall with the turn with the breath. Okay, if you go into the turn, good job of stacking those feet together right here. You got your feet almost on top of each other. That's excellent. But you can kind of see how you turn your legs out to the side. We've been talking a lot about making sure that we bring those legs straight into the wall. So when you're hitting that wall, your feet and your knees should be pointed up on this angle here and as you can see we get to that wall here your knees and your feet are pointed this angle here so we want to see them up and down not side to side all right so work on that and the other thing you can kind of see is look at where your eyes are looking your eyes are looking this way here your hand as it should be, as it's coming off that wall should be looking at your hand that's still on the wall and yet your eyes are looking down. So you're looking the complete opposite direction where we want to do. Always make sure, like when we're elbowing our brother and we're calling our mother, we talk about calling our mother because we want you to watch you bring that hand towards that ear. Okay? Don't let it fall down and don't let your head fall down the wrong way. Okay? So you're not really going to be able to get into a nice tight streamline as much as you could. As you're starting to push off a wall, okay, you can kind of see your hands are so close, but you can just see that air right there that there's no real streamline. Make sure we get that head down, okay? Underneath those, you want the elbows here and here, right behind your head, okay? So your head should be locked in between those elbows, your head down. And you can kind of see here, you start to put your hands a little bit together. It's a little late. And you can kind of see, here's your head here. Well, we want your head down here. We want it locked up as best you can, okay? 
Good Dolphin kicks off the wall, though. I mean, really, good Dolphin kicks off the wall. Let's rewind just a little bit here. Let's just watch. One, two, three. Okay. I think you did a couple more now. Then. There we go. Let's try this. One, two, three. Okay, so you do three dolphin kicks. We want to see six dolphin kicks. But the biggest thing that we saw there is after that third dolphin kick, watch how you stop kicking. You're just floating now, okay? You want to kick all the way through that breakout. You want to keep your legs kicking all the way up until that first stroke. You don't ever stop kicking other than when you first push off that wall. For that first second or two, yeah, no kick. After that, get those legs up, okay? Great job, Kate.